Put that down. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... Touch my stuff. Funny, I didn't see the picture jump into your hands by itself. Look, I was just... Relax. I'm just giving you shit. It's my little nephew. Sweet kid. Dumb as a box of rocks. Welcome to Danbury. What's your name? Mike. Mike Ross. Frank Gallo. Mike, looks like we're gonna be sharing this little condo for a while, huh? <sighs> Feel like telling me what you're in for? But I get uh, it. You don't know if you can trust me. Listen, truth is, you shouldn't trust anybody in here. Except I just asked what you did, and they obviously already caught you, so... What's the harm? Well, if there's no harm, then why don't you tell me what you're in for? And that could take a while. I don't know about you, but I'm free for the next two years. And then somewhere along the way, you stop thinking about if they need a car, and you start thinking, I need a car. And that's when you get caught. Because whether you want to admit it to yourself or not, you were never thinking about them in the first place. And whether you were or weren't, once you start, you don't stop. That's one hell of a story, Frank. Yeah, well, this is prison. Everyone's got a hell of a story. Anyway, that's enough for one night. I'm gonna go to bed. My story started with my grandmother. She was sick. And she needed money. And I found a way to get it for her. And that's it. I cut a deal and now I'm here. Wait a second. If you're a fake lawyer, they had to give you a chance to turn on someone to get out of it. They did. So why the hell didn't you do it? Because I wouldn't have been able to live with myself. Somebody out there owes you a lot. Yeah. I owe him a lot, too. So, what, you're, you're like a, a good guy or something? <laughs> Am I? What do you mean? I left the woman I love at the altar today. Why'd you do that? Because I didn't want to chain her to me if there was even the chance that she would regret it. Then, yeah, you're a good guy. You might as well tell me what's on your mind. I can hear you staring at the wall from all the way over here. How do you handle it? You're being away from Jennifer for so long. Trust each other. Visit each other. And don't ask questions you don't want answers to. That doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, well, it shouldn't be that hard for you. You're only here for two years. I'm here for five more. Jesus. You're telling me. You know, maybe I'll just send Rachel a text. Yeah, let her know that I'm okay. Sure thing, kid. Let's give it back when you're done. All right, let's go. Come on, you gotta get out before next year. If they can't know, I let you switch. Switch what? I'm in the right cell. I'm in the one you gave me. Yeah, but this isn't the one they gave me. What? You're in the right cell. I'm not. What the hell are you talking about? Only thing I told you tonight that's true is that you shouldn't trust people in here. But you did. Now I know all about you. Why the hell would you do that to me? You said you could have turned on a guy to get out of here, but you didn't because you owe him. Well, I owe that son of a bitch, too. Harvey. Yeah, Harvey Specter. Put me away 13 years ago. I've been dreaming about getting him back ever since. And I read about you in the paper, and I realized I could get back at him without ever leaving these walls. You son of a bitch. Take it easy, Mike. You remember I know about you, and I got your little girlfriend's number right here. How hard do you think it was for me to get her to send a sexy picture to you after that? I think that kids today call it a selfie. There's no way she sent you a picture like that. You're right. It wasn't sexy. But what I did, I photoshopped her face onto a body that is. I did such a good job, no one in here is ever going to notice. I made copies, one for each guy in the joint. Usually, a situation like this, I would charge a fortune. But today, I'm feeling so generous, I'm going to give them away for free. <laughs> This car 
card says paralegal. I don't care what it says. You don't let me in there and something's wrong with him. I will make it my life's purpose to make your life a living hell. Ma'am, I worked maximum security for 10 years. So if you think I'm going to be intimidated by the likes of you, you've got another thing coming. Then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to call up there and get to the bottom of this, but it might take a while, so I need you to be patient. <sighs> okay. Donna, cancel my afternoon and have Ray meet me downstairs in five minutes. I thought you said you weren't worried about Mike. I only said that so that she wouldn't worry. They only take visitation away if you're the one who starts the fight, which means something goddamn happened down there and I'm gonna figure out what it is. Okay, Harvey, you wanna know what happened? It wasn't me who pissed him off, it was you. What are you talking about? Frank Gallo. Holy shit. What's he doing in here? I don't know. I was hoping you'd tell me that. I put him away for racketeering. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Last time I checked, that doesn't land him in here. You're right. A guy like Gallo only lands in here for one reason. Good behavior. Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because bad behavior can get him out. Where are you going? I'm going to go to the warden. Tell him the whole story. We'll get him out of here within the week. That's exactly why I did not want to tell you. Look, these guards are corrupt. You go to the warden, it gets back to Gallo. He's going to come after me twice as hard. It's one week instead of two years. Look, we got a chance to get him out of here. I'm going to take it. He's got Rachel's phone number. Get, that's all the more reason. God to damn do it, Harvey. You pushed me to beat the shit out of you so that you'd know I could take care of myself in here. Now, are you gonna let me do that or are you gonna cut my legs out from under me? I'll stay out of it. I already have what I want, which is knowing that every time your phone rings, you're gonna ask yourself, is this the call where you find out that the guy who's in here for you is never coming out? Yeah. Listen to me, you son of a bitch. You think I can't hurt you in here? I'll put a goddamn bounty on your head. I'll pay him whatever it takes to break your legs. And if that doesn't work, I'll wait till you get out and I'll kill you myself. So unless you want that to happen, don't you ever even look at Mike Ross again. Ring, ring, counselor. Is he violent? Rachel. Is he violent? I made him a promise. I don't give a shit. He's in there to protect you, so you better figure out a way to protect him because, God damn it, Harvey, if something happens to him in there and you didn't do anything, I will never forgive you. Harvey, I know you don't need me to tell you this, but she's right. Because if something actually does happen to Mike, even if she forgives you, you're never gonna forgive yourself. Protect him how? Because last time I checked, he was in the bosom of the federal penitentiary system. Sean, he's in there with a the guy I put away, and the guy is no joke. I'm sorry to hear that, Harvey. But what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to move the guy to another prison. I don't have the authority to do that, and you know that. You can get the authority. You're a federal prosecutor. Well, why the hell don't you go after the prosecutor that put Mike away in the first place? Because she doesn't owe me, and you do. You got a lot of balls saying that to me when the entire time we were working together, you knew the kid was a fraud. That kid helped you take down Charles Forsman and Eric Woodall and put you on the map. The map? Bullshit. I was on the map long before I met either of you. You're going to tell me you haven't shot up the ranks since that conviction? You know, Harvey, when you first walked in here, for a second, I actually thought you were going to apologize for lying to me all that time. I don't need your forgiveness, Sean. I need your help. All right, I'll see what I can do. But Harvey, now you owe me one. What are you not telling me? I put him away for racketeering, but that's not what he really did. What are you talking about? We had him for conspiracy to commit murder. And the police let the tape of that bastard admitting that he did it out of the chain of custody for 20 minutes. So you went after him for racketeering instead? I used every trick I had to put him away for 15 years for three crimes that would have added to five years at the most. And that's why he hates you so much. It's also why I need you to lay low until I can get him out of here. I can appreciate that, Harvey, but I can't exactly hide in my cell 24 hours a day. Then I suggest you do the complete opposite. <laughs> 